are back with more. I wonder how loud that is. Uh, <laughs> Ultimate General Civil War. Let's see. Um, no. You get endurance. Go faster. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, first core is pretty badly hurt. So what I'm going to do is, I want to keep it at 100% efficiency and everything. Now we'll add veteran troops in. And this is going to be expensive to upgrade them. There we go. Oop. Oh uh, boy. It'd be quite expensive to recover these guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Twelve thousand. Yes, and we have three hundred and fifty-one. So why I'm being quite so careful is uh, I'm not sure. I don't want to spend too much money doing it, though. Well, part of the problem there is a lack of weapons. You get your 12-pounder Napoleon back. Okay, so pretty much everyone's recovered except for these guys. Give them a bunch of rookies. Stamina. Stamina goes down way too fast, so... 90! Ouch! But we can do this in order. We still have a morale boost of three. Huzzah! <clears throat> okay. You're now going to be 250. Apply. I want you re equipped with this. Can I do that? Yes. Can I get you to 250? Yes. Keep you veterans. You need a new commander. Lieutenant Colonel will be... I'll give you a Colonel. Sir, yes, sir. It's 22,000 to get them up to uh, 750 troops, so... 36 for them. There we go. Now notice we can have extra units now. So we're going to be working on that. Which will basically be me distributing these guys out a little bit. But that'll be after I upgrade all these guys. For the cheap <coughs> well, upgrade. It's not really an upgrade, it's just reinforcing. 12 pounder howitzer, 10 pounder ordnance. This isn't costing me that much. That is not costing me that much. Apply. Okay. And you guys will be upgraded as well. I keep saying upgraded. It's reinforced, not upgraded. You guys will get veterans. You guys will get it's veterans sad, yeah. to preserve your... Uh, experience. I don't care about you. Do, do, do. And we're still going to have hundreds of thousands of dollars left over. Which one is that? Uh, yep. This. You all get this. What does discipline do anyway? Morale plus 10, efficiency plus 5. Low morale for all of these guys, which is unfortunate, but hey, oh well. Let's give all of these people Springfields. Let's yes, not yes. give all those people Springfields. Armory. Let's see, we can get rid of these. We can definitely get rid of those. And give some of them a Enfield. I can ignore you. I can ignore these guys for the moment, actually, because we have other stuff we can do here. 
So you go there. Who is not, like, the best? Okay, you're not. Scales, you're going down there. Uh... You guys get that one. You guys go there. You're going to get another artillery brigade. I want to change your weapon. What are you armed with? You got Napoleon, so let's give you that. But reloading is terrible. We don't have enough guns there. Damage goes down. Look at the damage on that. Very slow to reload. But what it hits... And ultimately the upgrade cost isn't costing... The upgrade isn't costing all that much, so good. Okay, so you're going to get another infantry brigade, which is going to come from this core, actually. The most experienced unit of this core will be going to you. You're now there. And then you're going to get another artillery brigade. Actually, we'll take this artillery brigade. Do, 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 do. We're going to give you twice as many guns as you currently have. Veteran. Cost me 28. But there we go. Apply. So this brigade now has 18,120 soldiers, 72 guns, 16,500 5, 16, infantry. 1,800 artillerymen, 1,500 cavalry. And I could increase the size of these. No, I can't, because the shop doesn't have anything left. So I can't increase the size of those. Because they can be 500 maximum. Now, you need to some replacements for what I just took. Which will actually come from this brigade, or this core. Uh, of you three, who's the best? You've got like the closest general being upgraded, so. Three, three, and three. Very good. Now I just gotta find out where you went. There you are. Equip. There we go. You've got your 12-pounder howitzer. You need a new artillery brigade. Does this corps have an artillery brigade? Yeah, they're not particularly well experienced, so it doesn't matter. Artillery brigade. It'll just be a 6-pounder field gun. You'll be to max size. Okay, so we've got that with the sharp, so we'll give them another skirmisher. Go down to where the sharps is. What's the range? That thing, it's cool, but it just doesn't have the range. Okay, so yeah, equip yeah. them with that. Get them up to 250. And, okay. You're going to get a cavalry brigade, full size, create. And how about another artillery brigade? There. Armory. Have a load of Springfields. Can I throw another infantry in it here? It costs too much barely too much, so I can sell something I'm not likely to need more of, like these. Sell those. 
We're not going to use sawed-off shotguns. Go away. Army, Corps, you, infantry, full size, there we go. So, this is 18,120 soldiers, this has 19,370. Which is very good. Why do you have, like, 1798 inf uh, artillery? Is someone hurt a little bit? You. There we go. There we go. And you are what you are. So. Next battle. Uh, I do have water. Goody. Uh -huh. So their armory is still shit. <laughs> their training has improved. Their army has improved. So they got lots of manpower. Uh, ultimately, this will be Fredericksburg. Minus 5%. Haven't won. Haven't won. What is this? Ah, okay. So let's start in uh, this place. Little's Confederate Division. Okay. And we'll use the Second Corps. We'll only get 10 brigades, and we got like. 15 brigades per core now. <clears throat> 8,071 against 21,670. Yep. <laughs> Start. <sighs> yep, this is going to be fair. Grab you, grab you. Throw you over there. Throw you over there. Put you over there. All these guns. Why are they looking at me? So, start. Damn it. Get moving. And you advance. You're the scout. And Grant, you go there. Marsh, you come up. No reason to dally. Hmm. <clears throat> there will be resistance, but it won't be serious. probably outrange those skirmishers, and that does appear to be the case. Two hundred and four. Look at more skirmishers. You can advance, 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 and you can advance. You can go into the field, you can go into the field. <coughs> so there's Martin. There's Hebert, and there's Green. And there's Gates. 
What are you guys equipped with? Uh, walking pistol. There's a couple skirmishers in front of you. You go over there. Shoot Martin up if you don't mind. Shoot the skirmishers up. There's Hebert. Might be a little bit too close. The skirmishers are gone. Moderately large artillery units. Can you guys get in there? Um, pull back. Okay, but the way you're engaging is not the way I want you to engage. How are you doing? You're doing good, you're doing alright, you're doing good. And you're doing good. You have 12 pounder howitzers. The artillery is being hit in the background. Martin's routing. <coughs> Johnson, you move forward. Oh, their center has broken. Oh, cavalry, go. This was less resistance than anticipated. Gates is gone. I thought you were sending experienced troops after me. The heck is this garbage? <coughs> so Wade is gone. Clark is routing. I want you to get out. I don't really want you to get... Oh, you've been shot. The moment, the moment these guys encounter infantry, they get fucking destroyed. Okay, so the other artillery unit there is just completely shattered. Martin's routing again. There was no resistance here. What resistance did exist is really noteworthy. Gates is routed. I want to be capturing a bunch more of these guys. I think I kind of need to increase the difficulty a little bit. I really think I need to increase the difficulty a little bit. Because this, frankly, isn't even fair. You advance a bit. You go around that way, because there's stuff over there. Actually, screw it. You're gonna go that way. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go that way. And you're gonna go that way. And you're gonna go this way. I'm, like, not concerned about your guys at all. Second arc. What are these guys equipped with? Springfield's 1885. 
We should all be ready to fire. And he has routed. You hold position. I think my cavalry here can wipe out the these two units very easily. In fact, that will be their job. Charge! They're running away! Oh! In the meantime, these guys can surround the enemy infantry. Let's see if we can capture them and get them to surrender. We've caught you! You're gone. So there's a 290 man unit over there. I think you're getting away, you're not. Charge! There's a cavalry unit behind me, which is a little bit of a problem. Price. There's price behind me, which is also a little bit of a problem. Whoop! First Mississippi has shown up. Oh, he! Wow, that's the first time I've seen a cavalry unit surrender. What are you armed with? Sawed-off shotguns. We've now captured supplies. Charging there. You head back. Another unit is surrendered. What are they armed with? Mississippi Rifles. Charge. Charge. Martin has now surrendered his men. Using muskets. Green has surrendered his men as well. Reboard Farmers and Gates has surrendered his men. Okay, so, that's why they offered, like, no resistance. Because they're in really bad shape. You go over there, you go over there, you go over there, you go over there, you go over there. And you go over there. I think it's safe to say I probably won this campaign. <laughs> I'm up against people with reboard muskets and farmers' muskets and stuff, and sawed off shotguns. And that. Reboard farmers. Springfield 1842 muskets, 1841 Mississippi rifles, and more 1842 Springfields. But you guys, you poor bastards. You didn't stand a chance at any point. Okay, so there they are. 
Did I even suffer heavy cat? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Some of these guys would barely need reinforcements. Let's see if I can get the second uh, Arkansas to surrender. They're pulling back, which is understandable. Where are you going to pull back to? I'm behind you. I'm at all sides of you. Did that just take out Price? Did I just take out Price? <sighs> you head this way, you head that way. You go that way. Turn and charge! Get him! He's fired at you! And will he surrender? No, oh, he's broken. He's still losing more men. He's now routed. He isn't surrendering yet. He's definitely routed. Get him! They fired at you! They've routed again. They're not surrendering. There we go. They've surrendered now. Lots of promotions all around. So we've rescued a bunch of these. Rescued some of these. We didn't lose all that many and rescued some of these. Hmm, rescued some sharps because we lost a few of our skirmishers. Skirmishers. Captured a bunch of that. Captured a bunch of that. Um... I know I've captured more of these than they're telling me. So I see the capturing of weapons from units that you've captured is still glitched. And their heaviest artillery so far seems to be six pounders. Because I needed a thousand additional recruits. Boop. Boop. Sir, yes, sir. Boo. Sir, yes, sir. And we'll get you to 250. Get you back up. Get you back up. Get you back up. Get you back up. And, uh... Huh. How much will it cost me to get you, like, 12-pounder Napoleons? A reasonable price. So we'll equip you. How about you? How about we give you that? It's too expensive. Uh, what if I do this? Three core, four divisions per core, five brigades per division. Let's boost the economy. Armory, what can we sell? Well, we can get rid of the not significant number of those. We can get rid of these not significant number of these. And we really don't need the Mississippis. They're all right. Don't get me wrong, but we have better stuff, so... Army, back to you. And you. 
Uh, 14. Damage goes way down. Reloading goes up slightly. And accuracy goes up. Accuracy of 10, accuracy of 33. But piss poor damage. Equip with you. And we'll go back to the armory. Artillery. We have 54 freaking 5 pounder field guns in stock. So I'm going to sell some of these. In fact, I'll sell 28 of them. Get me 16,000. I'm gonna buy seven of those. I'm gonna buy one of the... No, I can't. You're the longest range weapon there, I think. 12 pounder Whiteworth. Accuracy isn't brilliant. I don't have a thousand dollars right now. I could sell two more of these. Yeah, I still can't can't buy up all of these. But look at that, range 2,400. Range 2,000. <sighs> what are you? You're six pounder. There. Can't get you up to 250. Too expensive. So, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See ya. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed because they'll all be posted, and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.